guys, it's time for my live video. Sorry, I'm still getting set up. Oh. All right, guys. Oh, can you bring me what I printed off the printer, Dave? Yeah. Um, so today, um, we're going to do a demonstration with our Tasty Truck stamp set. Oh, my connection is weak, so I hope that, that you guys can see. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Um, okay, so hopefully the connection will strengthen up. It is really gross outside, so I think that might be connect, uh, affecting the connection. Um, I was worried that I wouldn't get to go live because I was having issues with the internet. Thank you. Oh, oh we only got seven inches left then. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah, this did not. You can tell we're running out of ink. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's see. Are we still on a weak connection? No, our connection is no longer weak. Hi, guys, again. Okay, so first off, I want to let you know that um, as of the 21st, there are some new items, three new items you can get with Celebration. Um, so I'm going to show you what these are. So these are some uh, just dem demonstrations, some demos of what they've done with these new items. They are um, Reverse Words is one of the stamp sets you can get now. And these are all with a $50 order, just to remind you. Um, reverse Words, so these are what they look like. Um, and... Here's kind of a little example of how they used them on these two cards right here. Um, then, this is the exciting one. Six by six glimmer paper assortment pack, okay? Um, this comes with 12 sheets. comes with Bermuda Bay, Mint Macaron, and Sweet Sugar Plum. You get four of each color, which is awesome. This, if you want one of these new items, I would suggest this one first, then go back and get the stamp sets later. I think this may sell out. Just, just to let you know, that may sell out. Um, and then there is a stamp set called Make a Medallion. Um, and this is how they have used that right here, um, the Make a Medallion. So just to let you know that now through um, March 31st, these new items are added on top of the other items you can already get with Celebration, okay? So I just wanted to show those to you and let you know that those are available now. So any $50 order, you can pick one of those three or something from the other catalog, uh, from the other celebration catalog. Um, I've changed my background. I hope you guys like it. Um, let me show you what we're going to be using today. Um, you know, I always use Stampin' Dimensionals. And I always use my bone folder. And some snail adhesive. Um, we're going to use the Sprinkles Embellishments um, from, oops, from the New Occasions catalog. Look at how pretty these bad boys are. Oh, these are so fun. Okay. I'm going to use those. Um, as I said, we are going to use the Tasty Trucks stamp set. Um, our blender pen again. We're going to use an X-Acto knife, which obviously is not stamping up. Um, but this is just a blender pen. Reminder, these come in a pack of three and one will last you forever. So if you buy any, they'll last you forever. They're really awesome that way. Um, here's our supplies. I'm just going to move those over. Um, and we're going to use these three stamp pads. We're going to use Flirty Flamingo. Bermuda Bay and basic black. So I'm just going to get us started on our demonstration today. Oh, I have a weak connection again. Um, yeah, I think it's the weather. I'm sorry. We're just going to start stamping. Okay, guys. If you're here, please say hi. I want to say hi back to you. Um, can always leave a comment. Anything that you see anything that you're excited about, let me know. I'm really excited about the glimmer paper. I am super excited about the glimmer paper. Sorry guys, I apparently got a phone call in there, so and I can't go on airplane mode when I'm on the internet. So I got rid of it. Okay, so we're gonna start with our basic black. Oh man, I really love how this background looks right now. It looks really cool in the video. Okay, so we're gonna start with basic black. Okay, and we're gonna stamp our taco truck. These are three pieces of Whisper White. Okay, um, we're gonna do our taco truck. And the piece that I am going to stamp on um, is three inches by two and a quarter inches, okay? So that is the perfect size for the taco truck. So I'm gonna stamp this first. Now, can I zoom in a little? Yes. Okay. It should fit perfectly on this piece of white, okay? Oops, sorry, I hit the tripod. That's a little light, isn't it? Let's stamp on the other side. I'm gonna put a background behind so I don't get anything on my new paper. Okay, so 
So let's try this again. Let's ink this bad boy up again. And try this again. We can do this. All right. So how's the weather where you guys are at? Like I said, we have a storm here that um, we've actually gotten a lot of snow and it's still snowing. How many inches have we got, Dave? A lot? Okay. So we're going to take the sentiment that says a little wish that's fun to make and stamp this on this piece, which I believe is one and a quarter by, by two and a half. Okay, and you can see that I've put the banner stamp right below it. So you can stamp these both at the same time, which is kind of nice. A little wish that's fun to make. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. Okay, so there's that one. And we're going to stamp the inside of our card, too. And this says, happy birthday. Now where's the cake? Now if you guys watched my husband make his card, he used the same stamp set. And he also made a birthday card like I'm making today. It's 7.9 this morning, or 6.9 this morning. 6.9 inches? Yeah. Okay. And it's still coming down. All right. And now this says inside, happy birthday. Now where's the cake? So now we are done with our basic black. Okay. Going to move this out of the way. We're not going to actually be stamping anymore. The next thing we're going to do is color. Okay. So we're going to use our Bermuda Bay and our Flirty Flamingo. So I'm going to take my truck first. Okay. And I'm going to take this. Now this is a technique I've shown you before, but I'm going to show you again. You're going to take this and you're going to squeeze it together. You kind of squeeze it. You can feel the back touching the stamp pad inside, okay? So squeeze that, and then it will look like this inside. And we're just going to use this to color, okay? Now, like I said, I have shown this this before. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Now, let's see. Ooh, I'm trying to zoom you in a little, make it easier to see. Okay, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to turn this basically into a flirty flamingo marker, which is one thing I love about these stamps, that you can do this. I've never experienced this before until Stampin' Up! So it's kind of fun to be able to do that. And if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, make sure you put questions in the comments so I can answer them for you. I'm not sure if there's a delay. It's hard to tell sometimes. There's usually a little bit of a delay. Okay. Now the basic black, if it sits long enough when you're coloring it, it should not, um, it shouldn't bleed while you're coloring it. Okay. Sorry, I'm very focused if you cannot tell. Sometimes it's hard to color. Okay, I'm gonna do the inside of my tires with the pink, with the flirty flamingo as well. Okay. Now while I have the flirty flamingo out, I'm actually gonna grab this guy right here and we're gonna color him. I'm gonna color a couple of the banners pink. Okay. We're done with our flirty flamingo, so I'm going to clean it. And basically you clean it, oh, you can't even see that. You clean it by coloring on the paper until it colors clear. And it should eventually color clear, okay? So now we're gonna take our Bermuda Bay and do the same thing, we're gonna squeeze it together as well. And it should look like that in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my truck again. And, no, oh, you can't see that color in there and I'm going to color pretty much everything else this Bermuda Bay just varying degrees of Bermuda Bay to, based on how the marker looks while I'm going okay Marker really squeaks, doesn't it, guys? Okay. Oh, I forgot. Oh, well, that's okay. 
I'm just gonna color this all with the Bermuda Bay as well. Color that Bermuda Bay, that, that, and that. Okay. All right, we'll do. We're going to do our tires at Bermuda Bay, too. This is just going to be a pink and green taco truck. Well, truck. It's not necessarily a taco truck today, it's just a truck. Hi, Casey. Welcome. I think I have a little bit of a delay. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I gotta color this guy too. Let's open my Bermuda Bay back up. Okay. And we'll take this. I'm gonna do the little bows at the end and then the other pennants with that right there and then color until it's clear again. Hey! Are you so happy we didn't have to work today, Casey? Because I am. Oh, sorry, I'm losing stuff. And I just got Bermuda Bay all over me. See, you guys watch me because I'm clumsy, right? You enjoy watching me be clumsy. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to do something. Oh, did I lose? Uh-oh. Did I lose my piece of plastic? Oh, shoot. I may have lost something that's very important to this card, guys. Ah, no, I found it. Okay. Um, of course. I know. It made me so happy. Your phone call just made me smile so much this morning. And then it took forever to fall back asleep, as it always does. Okay, so my husband suggested this when he did his card last week, and I thought, it's a really good idea. So we're going to do something similar, okay? So we're going to actually cut out the windows of the truck, okay? Okay. Now I'm trying to do this from a distance so you guys don't see my head in the video, okay? So I'm gonna just cut out the big window on this one. And it probably won't be perfect, but that's okay, because I always say even though it's not perfect, it shows that it's homemade, right? Right, okay, so let's see if I cut it enough. Hey, it popped right out. So there's our window. Now we're gonna take, if I can find it, our piece of plastic that I have. This is actually just from a, a cello bag. I cut down a cello bag and did this, okay? So we need this and a piece of tape. Now, where's my thing, I need to decide. I'm actually gonna cut this down a little bit more too. Because on my test one, I cut out all the windows, so I needed a little bit more, but I don't need as much now of the plastic. So, we've got this piece of plastic right here. Um, I cut it from a corner, so I actually have, you know, one side or two sides that are already sealed. And now I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to seal this side as well, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take one of my newest favorite accessories, the sprinkles embellishments that are from the um, Occasions catalog. Sorry, I got snow brain. Okay, look how pretty those are. See, aren't those just gorgeous? <sighs> okay, so in this little plastic pocket I've created, I'm gonna take and open it, and I'm gonna put some in it. So this is gonna be like a shaker card, but not exactly a shaker card, just so you guys know what we're doing. Okay, and I'm just going to take and scoop some in oh, and apparently drop them all over. Now, if you have like a little spoon, oh, they're all over my floor now. My cats are going to try to eat those. A little spoon would be really nice for this, um, but I don't have a tiny spoon. Like, I know you can get little tiny ones from like Dollar Tree or... This ha it has little pearls in it and it's got little sequins in it. It's like the full gambit of fun stuff and they're just so pretty. So let's see, I think I have enough in there now. Okay, yeah, I think I have enough in there now. I'm gonna take and seal this up so I do not lose any more sequins and stuff and try to pick up everything I've dropped. 
right now an eyeliner pencil would be really nice to pick those up. Okay, so we're done with the sprinkles. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to seal this top half right here. Apparently there's a piece of glitter that's gonna get stuck up near the top. Okay, so now this looks like that. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over our window right here. So we have sequins in the window. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this the easy way with tape, okay? I'm gonna try to just move the sequins in the middle because this is not gonna be a traditional shaker card. It's not gonna shake, okay? You can move the sequins around, but it's not gonna shake like a regular shaker card. So I'm just gonna tape this and try to squish those sequins into the center so I can see where they are, okay? And it's okay, since I'm using clear tape, it's okay if it overlaps the window a little. I'm okay with that. I wanna make sure it stays sealed, okay. So now you can see them inside. We're done with our tape. We're done with our cutting mat. Move this and see if I can move it without anything falling over. That is a feat in and of itself, okay. And we're almost done with our card. So here is a piece of basic black. Um, let me zoom out a little again. Um, this piece has been cut at eight and a half by five and a half. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to fold it in half and use my bone folder like I like to do for all my cards. Do you guys like my new background? Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for saying that. You know, I just sit down and think, what would be fun this week? And I try, like, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I sometimes look at other people's ideas, but in all honesty, I don't really save them because I want things to be my own idea. I don't wanna steal someone's ideas. Okay, so this is a piece of, um, let's see. This is Watermelon Wonder Designer Series Paper. It is from the 2015-2017 Designer Series Paper um, stack, which will be retiring at the end of May, just to let you know. It's a variety pack. It has two sides on this one. Um, it has the words and it's got the polka dots. Okay, so we'll put that. Can you guys hear the Star Trek theme in the background? My husband's home today too because of the snow day. So he's watching Star Trek today. Okay, so there's that right there. Um, and I'm going to take this one that says happy birthday. Now where's the cake? And use my snail as well. And I'm just going to put this inside my card. You really only need two strips of the snail. Sometimes I like to put one in the middle too to help hold it a little bit better. But you only need the one on the top and the bottom. Okay. So there's that inside. Now we're going to take our a little wish that's fun to make. And put some snail on the back of it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the top left of my of my card, and then I'm gonna take this bad boy that we made. And now see, you can see the background through it, but you can also see the sequins. Isn't that fun? Okay, sorry, I get so excited by my ideas too sometimes. Sometimes I feel really clever, and sometimes I feel like I'm not so clever. But this one I feel really clever on. So I'm gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm just gonna put four on the back. Okay. And peel off their little paper backing. Okay. And put this down here on the bottom right. Okay, so now it says a little wish that's fun to make with our little chook. Happy birthday. Now where's the cake? It's not funny. It's very, very funny. I like sometimes Stampin' Up! has funny things. But my little sequins in here, you can touch them. Um, we do have window sheets with Stampin' Up! that you can purchase that are a little bit thicker than the plastic bags I use. Um, but that's up to you what you want to use. Um, I, like I said, I just have these cello bags, so I use them. Um, and reminder, for those of you who just joined uh, the video, there are some new celebration items that are available now through March, or yeah, through March 31st. Sorry, I had to think about that. Um, through March 31st. So we have the fun um, reverse words stamp set um, that comes with those. We have our glamour paper, which they have made. Some fun cards with the glamour paper. And my printer apparently is running out of ink, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
and the Make a Medallion stamp set. And I do suggest if you're wanting these items, I would get the Glimmer paper before the other two. Um, like I said, because it will sell out. It's very popular. Um, and that is my video for today. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a short demonstration today, um, but you know, it's a snow day, so I want to relax. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.